a kaleidoscope of civilizations, both ancient and modern, combining elements of adventure and religion, moments of serenity that will take your breath away. For pilgrims wanting to embark on a spiritual journey, these are some of Pakistan's sacred places. The Peshawar Museum hosts a variety of Buddhist stone sculptures, terracotta figurines, and other artifacts. The display of Gandharad in the main hall includes Buddha's life stories, miracles, symbols of worship, and individual standing Buddhist sculptures. This sculpture is actually quite striking. It captures the eye as soon as you walk in. is home to over 14,000 pieces, over 900 of which have been housed here for over 100 years. And in fact, this is one of the tallest statues from the second century that's housed in one of the largest collections of Buddhist artifacts in the world. So we just reached Takpai. Uh, this is the parking space as you can see uh, behind me and we are going to go grab a ticket here at the gate which is just uh, an easy few steps. Takbai is an Indo-Parthian archaeological site of an ancient Buddhist monastery in Mordan district. It's one of the most well-known and well-preserved Gandharan sites. It is absolutely scenic, extraordinarily peaceful, a, a true gem here in Pakistan. One of the things that I did notice though is that some of the visitors are jumping around on some of these individual stupas. And these are priceless relics. These are part of a sacred site. So I think it behooves all of us to help share our knowledge uh, in terms of respecting the sites and the relics that are here and to be mindful of them and not jump on them or touch them excessively. just got back down from the very top here at Tuck Dubai and we're getting ready to head back to Islamabad. Tomorrow will start our day where we'll take you to Julia. Dating back to the second century, Julian, or the Seat of Saints, is located on a 100 meter hill in district Haripur. Considered to be one of the world's oldest universities, in ancient times, it attracted students from as far away as China. So we just made the climb up uh, the stairs, which is pretty moderate uh, for the average tourist. Uh, what is really special about this location is that many of the best stucco sculptures have been shifted to the Taxil Museum for Preservation. In addition to uh, a number of the artifacts contain written Sanskrit language, Brahmi characters, it's really quite fascinating. And do you know where I got this information? Right here. Okay, so we're walking 
walking into a facility that contains worship stupas, main stupas, and meditation stupas. So apparently for healing purposes, if an individual had a physical ailment, they would stick their finger into the hole of the navel to help offer prayers against bodily ailments. facing these three Buddhas, as the guide instructed me. We have three different styles. This is the Indian, this is the monk, and this is the Greek style. Wow, just the size. I mean, look how big some of these sculptures are compared, comparatively to me. And I'm, I'm tall. I'm kekatehe, hatikati, hatikati. So a number of these structures have been shifted to the museum. So as the guides were telling us, they have replicas of the original figures that are actually placed here on site. These sites are an easy day trip from the federal capital territory of Islamabad. They give us an opportunity to look within ourselves and perhaps achieve deeper insight into nature and life. One should travel responsibly. And as you do, please remember these guidelines. Respect the local cultures, people, and their norms. Please don't litter. And please don't damage the sites or the artifacts as these are sacred. For the past 10 years, I've traveled all over this great nation. And now that I live and work here, I'd like to warmly welcome you to the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Welcome to Pakistan. <laughs>